Good morning and welcome to another Psalm in your palm. Uh, we, we read a, a Psalm and we just talk about it. So let's go ahead and read Psalm 5 this morning. A Psalm of David. O oh Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I pray to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my requests to you and wait expectantly. O oh God, you take no pleasure in wickedness. You cannot tolerate the sins of the wicked. Therefore, the proud may not stand in your presence, for you hate all who do evil. You destroy those who tell lies. The Lord detests murderers and deceivers. Because of your unfailing love, I can enter your house. I, wor I will worship at your temple with deepest awe. Lead me in the right path, O Lord, or my enemies will conquer me. Make your way plain for me to follow. My enemies cannot speak a truthful word. Their deepest desire is to destroy others. Their talk is foul like the stench from an open grave. Their tongues are filled with flattery. O God, declare them guilty. Let them be caught in their own traps. Drive them away because of their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them sing joyful praises forever. Spread your protection over them, that all who love your name may be filled with joy. For you bless the godly, O Lord. You surround them with your shield of love. There's two things in this passage that I want to point out to you. Uh, first, uh, we see in verse 7. It says, because of your unfailing love, I can enter your house. I will worship at your temple with deepest awe. It's interesting that because of God's uh, unfailing love, because of his steadfast love, like we've talked about in the past weeks, uh, because of that, that is why we're able to be in community with him. We are able to worship him in his temple, in his church, uh, because of that love. And it's because of that love, John 3, 16 tells us that he sent his son, Jesus, uh, to die for us and to, uh, to make us holy, to make us righteous. Right, because Jesus cleanses all of our sins, He therefore makes us holy. And then we go to the last verse, which I think it all boils down to this last verse. Uh, it says, For you bless the godly, O Lord. Some versions say the holy or the righteous. You surround them with your shield of love. And so because we have ba been made righteous through Christ, He shields us with His love. And then that, that is the truth of this psalm. We have been made righteous through Christ. Therefore, God uh, can shield us with his love. So let's, let's go forth this week and let's live in that truth.